Hello YouTube, this is Ethan Thomas and welcome to part two of my series of videos on the basic rules of bolt action. And for tonight, just wanted to go over the things you need to set up a game of bolt action. So you'll need order dices, one set of dice for each uh, army that you'll be using. Uh, these dices, you can either order them directly from Warlord Games online or you can use also some regular dice and just assign uh, numbers to the different orders that we saw in our first video. You'll need a bag or a cup to be able to put them in so that you can draw, draw them out as you play. You'll need also some regular dice to be able to roll the two hits and the saves when firing uh, during the game. But I also recommend you guys to have another set of colored dice, different from the first one, to be able to use as pin markers. So the pinning mechanic I'll show you in my third video, but I re really recommend you guys to, to have these when playing the game. Uh, you can also have some specific pin markers that you can either make yourself or order directly from World of Games, but these dices will do all do the same. You'll need also a ruler to be able to measure the distance uh, for your movements and also for firing. You'll need a gaming surface, either a 4x4, 4x6 or 4x8. And some terrain to be able to block line of sight and make the game a bit more challenging. So now we'll look at the force selection of our army lists. When setting up your army for bolt action, you need to start working with the minimum mandatory force selection. And this is it. This is the mandatory minimum force selection. This is a reinforced platoon, meaning that you have two squads with each an NCO. And the effect of the NCO is onto the morale of each unit. And we'll see that in gameplay in later videos. But you'll have four in this case here, you'll have four riflemen reporting to uh, each an NCO. And these two squads are reporting to one officer, either a lieutenant or second lieutenant, uh, depending on the number of points that you want to spend. And again, the, uh, the added bonus will be shown in later videos. So this is the minimum mandatory uh, force selection that you have. Um, from So this, each of these squads will have a dice and even the uh, the officer will have its own order dice. From this uh, reinforced platoon we can either increase the size of the squad with more soldiers to a certain maximum depending on the army list that you have or the, 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 uh, the actual country you're playing uh, and to which also we can add specific units for example, one reinforced platoon has a right to have one tank. So basically, bolt action is a very infantry oriented game. To this, you can also add specific team units. For example, a heavy machine gun or a medium to heavy mortar. So in the book, we'll see pretty much everything that uh, you can add to this basic reinforced platoon. So let's look at the force selection list. So here is page 124 of the Bolt Action Rulebook, where you can see the force selection uh, table. Uh, this will be the basic rule of how to set up your army, other than you know calculating the points for each individual unit. But as we saw on the gaming table, the mandatory minimum is a reinforced platoon to which you'll be able to add these units here. So reinforced platoon again, it's an officer with two infantry squads to which you can add up to three infantry, infantry squads, captain, medic, and so on. So take note that one reinforced platoon can only have one tank. Okay. Now, depending on the size of the game that you're playing, for example, a thousand, two thousand or three thousand points, 
This means that you could always buy two reinforced platoons and then for each of these platoons have these, uh, these types of units to be added if the point allocation allows it. So, bolt action is a very infantry-oriented game, but there are ways to be able to get some, some nice vehicles and some nice units in it. So that's it for me tonight, and I hope you'll stay tuned for part three coming up uh, in the next couple of days. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Careful. Don't hurt yourself. Nice ride you got here, Nick.